This is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com, taking a look today at a new Bible from Tyndale. This is the large print King James Version Thin Line Reference Edition for Filament. It works with the Filament app, and they've sent me two for review. The first is a burgundy imitation leather with a big fancy all kinds of designs there. John 316 on the back. This one has a paper liner and has a burgundy ribbon, Smythe sewn. And then the second is genuine leather. This is the one I've been using the most, but I like the other also. All right, let's get rid of the boxes. All right, so we have genuine leather. And this one is uh, has a smooth green, a little bit of texture on there. It doesn't look like a fake green. It doesn't look like it's been pressed or anything like that. It looks natural. And you can see the difference in design on the sides, on the spine. This one's a lot more minimal in its design. Both stay open easily. This one uses a vinyl paste down, and this one uses the paper paste down. Both do stay open with no issues. This one, it will close just a little bit, but not bad. I haven't broken it in today, or haven't used it today. And then here's how that one stays open. They're both made in China. The paper is, I don't know uh, the GSM, but I, I think it's upper 20s. It's just a guess. It is thin, as you expect from a thin line. Uh, it is off-white in color, no glare under direct light. A um, good amount of, of opacity. Could be a little more opaque, but for how thin it is, it's understandable. The text is 10 point, and it is line matched mostly there are a couple of pages i found that are not line matched so well but it's mostly line matched it's highly readable it does have translation footnotes and it does have cross references not a lot of cross references not many at all but the uh, translation notes and the foot cross references are separated from each other and there are markings in the in the not in the text itself but at the end of the verse you'll see an asterisk this tells you there is a translation note. There's nothing to tell you that there is a cross-reference. You just have to look and see. And then another interesting point is all of the cross-references and translation notes are on the right page at the bottom. Every single page, exactly the same. You zoom in. Always down here. So you always know where to look. So even if you're looking way up here for this, it's down here. This does give you more space for the text. And as you can see here, we have a lot of inner margin space. So it, it, it never really bends into the gutter, even in the middle. It doesn't bend into the gutter. But all the notes are here. All the cross-references are here. That does give it a lot of space for the text. It is easy to read. It's easy to preach from. I preached from this a couple of times and I had no issues preaching from it at all. I had no trouble turning the pages, even though it is thin paper. It didn't give me any trouble at all. Maybe once or twice I wanted it to be a little bit more opaque, but it's not that bad. Considering how thin it is, it's not that bad at all. I had no trouble reading from it. Then in the very back, this is a red letter edition. The red is about a medium darkness. And, well, the black is about a medium to dark. To me, this is a good amount of darkness. I felt that this was comfortable to read. It's comfortable to preach from. No trouble at all. This text does something that most KJVs do not do. For example, if every single verse in a KJV starts with a capital letter, regardless of whether it continues the sentence from the previous verse or not, as if they're just their own, their own standalone thing. This one doesn't do that. This one starts the uh, the verse with a small letter if it continues the previous verse. I like that. That improves readability a lot. It makes the verse by verse easier to read, easier to follow. It's a small thing and probably wouldn't matter to a lot of people, but I like it. I like it a lot. This one has a brown ribbon. 
The translation notes are not the, the regular translator's notes, but they do cover updated words for archaic words and phrases, things that have changed in meaning, that sort of thing. Here's a closer look at the text. And then a closer look at the translation notes and the cross-references. In the very back, we have the Tyndale Verse Finder. This is a topical index. Gives you the, the main topic and then gives you subtopics within that topic and then gives you the book name, chapter, and verse, and the page number. That's excellent for study. And then a visual overview of the Bible. Now, this is on the thick, semi-glossy paper. Rather than maps, it has a visual overview, which includes maps. I actually like this better than just having maps. So it does include maps. Here's the plagues of Egypt, Exodus from Egypt, Israel's annual calendar. So a lot of infographics, that sort of thing. Twelve tribes of Israel. Book of Psalms. A lot of infographics and charts, that sort of thing. And then where filament comes in is across the top of the page, we have... A little icon and a page number. Now I just picked a page at random. So here's how filament works. You you turn on your app, okay? Then you hit the camera button, and then just scan the page. Got to get close enough to it, and I never want to get close enough. And it shows me I'm on page 810. Then I hit go, and then it gives me for Matthew 4 through 6. So it, it does combine a, a few pages. You have study, reflect, and see. Now, study gives you the verse numbers and information, study notes from the NLT Study Bible and a few other resources. Reflect gives you devotionals that you can read. Just picking one at, at random here. Here's the devotional. And then at the very bottom, it tells you uh, where it's from. And then C gives you video and interactive maps and infographics now these are not all loaded in because i'm out in the country and i don't have a the best um best connection in the world so it does take a second but illustrations infographics interactive maps so this basically lets you have a full study bible with more than you can get in a study bible because you can't get video in a study Bible. So you can get more. Plus they can make changes. They can make updates. They can add to it. But you don't have to carry around an extremely large Bible in order to have it. You have access to a clean Bible. Clean and readable Bible. That's easy to carry. That's easy to easy to, to read from. Easy to preach from. I had no trouble preaching from this. I love preaching from this. But then at your fingertips. If you've got a phone handy. Right there is everything on the free app. So let's take a look at the size and weight. Almost six and three quarters by nine and seven eighths by one inch. And we, we shall weigh the genuine leather is one pound 13.3 ounces. The ornate burgundy leather lock is one pound, 12 ounces. So that's our quick look at the large print KJV thin line reference Bible from Tyndale filament edition. I like this Bible a lot, a lot more than I expected to. Even though the paper is a little thin, even though it does have a touch more show through than I'd prefer, it's, it's good enough, especially for in the price range. I'd love to see this in a premium edition. It's excellent for reading. I would like to see more cross-references. It, it does lack cross-references. I do like the translation notes. It does update archaic words. It doesn't identify them in the text. Like you might see, there is something in this verse that has an update, but you don't know what it is. You just have to go look. You can guess. Um... You know, it could be the word dense or something like that. You can you can guess, and it, a lot of times there'll be more than one. And there are no indications of references at all. You just have to look and see what's there. They are out of the way. They're easy enough to use because of all, all being in one location. 
they're easy enough to use because then they're not spread across the the entire bottom I find them when they're spread across the entire bottom they're a little bit difficult to to search through and find this is a lot easier stacked is easier than this but this is easier than all the way across I prefer this to all the way across so quick look at the Tyndale large print KJV thin line reference edition filament edition if you have any questions let me know Tyndale did supply these Bibles in exchange for honest review. I'll post some links in the notes where you can make a purchase. This does release uh, in a week or two. So it's not available yet, but it will be available very soon. And thanks for watching.